including the Rio Olympics, only four Western Australians have represented the Matildas at an Olympic Games. Two happen to have been goalkeepers, Lydia Williams and Tracy Wheeler, who we caught up with at Christina's restaurant in Victoria Park. The first question we're asking everybody is, um, was football your always your sport or were there other sports you played? Um, I did a lot of um, athletics when I was younger, so I was doing that a lot and playing um, soccer at the same time basically. And, uh, Kept playing, keep going with athletics until I was about 20, and then as I got better with soccer, that was taking over the summers as well. So athletics sort of fell by the wayside a bit then. Was it having done athletics always your dream to go to an Olympic Games? Um, I wouldn't say it was a, a dream because I didn't really think it was ever a realistic dream. I always enjoyed watching the Olympics on TV when I was younger, and specifically watching the track and field. But um, because um, Soccer wasn't, women's soccer wasn't part of the Olympics until 96. I never expected that I'd ever go to an Olympics. So when did that realisation that it was achievable sort of come into your head? Um, basically when the um, women's Olympics was, became part, the women's soccer became part of the Olympics in 96. And at that stage we knew we were hosting the 2000 games. So it was a matter of, you know, whoever could keep in, in the Matilda squad until the 2000 games they'd be able to go to the Olympics. So was it then a real focus for you and you were really sort of tunnel vision on making Sydney? Um, it was not probably until about um, 98, 99. Before that it was like, well, it was a possibility, but it wasn't, still wasn't a, a huge expectation at that stage. Do you have one abiding memory of your Olympic experience? Oh, yeah. um, probably the biggest part of it was uh, the opening ceremony. I'd say if, if, I, if I had to pick one thing that stood out in front of all that was the, the opening ceremony and also I got the chance to watch Kathy Freeman run a 400 metres final. We were right near the finishing line with a whole group of other Australian athletes that just sort of crashed the party a little bit. Now there is the saying, once an Olympian, always an Olympian. When does that sink in and has it sunk in with you now or does it only sink in every four years? Um, it does sink in for me a bit more every four years when, when something comes up. And, and recently my niece um, went to school last week and she told everyone that her auntie was an Olympian and I went to pick her up that day and the teacher wanted to come and meet me and suddenly I was the flavour of the month. So yeah, it certainly comes to a four every four years. Yeah. Has being an Olympian changed your life in any way? No, not really. Um, no, I, prob I probably wouldn't say it hasn't. It has. Um, probably. No, sorry. That okay, no. no, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> now, we asked for you to bring something from the Olympic Games that has a special memory. What, what have you got for us? Um, my part of our uniform that we wore with the, the opening ceremony. It sort of, um, <coughs> to me, symbolises the fun of the Olympics and um, what a good time everybody has there. And it's, um, although it, everyone's quite serious about their events, they're very um, excited to support other athletes and um, be you know, part of the big party, I suppose. Oh, that's great that you've still got that. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, we're in Christina's restaurant in Vic Park, and when you're an elite athlete, you have to watch what you eat. Was that a problem for you, or were you able to still eat pretty much what you liked, or was there something you craved and you hoed into once the games were over? Uh, I wouldn't say I, I hoed into anything, but I think it's always a bit about moderation. You can still eat the things that you really like, but, you know, they're treats. You don't eat them all the time, and. And me being a goalkeeper, I certainly didn't burn the amount of calories that the midfielders and that did at training so, um, and matches. So basically I did have to be a little bit careful in my diet, more so than some of the others did. Now we've been asking every athlete three questions on their Olympic Games, just to see if, how much they remember. First one I think would be fairly easy for you. Uh, can you name the mascots from Sydney? Um, Millie, Sid and Ollie. 
Absolutely correct. Do you know what animals they represented or not? Um, no, it was the echidna. Um, one was a kookaburra. And so Ollie was the kookaburra and Sid was a platypus. Platypus, I think. Yeah. Now the second question was, uh, do you know where Australia came on the medal tally in Sydney? Oh. Fourth? Absolutely correct. Well done. I guess. <laughs> 16 gold, 25 silver and 17 bronze. And then the final question, and I think from what you've said earlier, this will be quite easy. Um, how many Olympic Games have the Matildas qualified for, and do you know what their best finish has been? Uh, well, we, we played in Sydney, but we didn't qualify for it. We only qualified as the host nation. Um, qualified for Athens in 2004, and then we qualified for Rio in 2016. Um, the highest place? Well... Probably um, Rio. It was actually Athens, they finished fifth in Athens. Did they? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, didn't I couldn't remember whether they got out of the group or not. Group stages or not. Yeah. There you go. Well, Tracy Wheeler, thank you very much for sharing your memories. That's okay. No worries.